My new book, Free and Wild, the German version, is now ready to order. The link is here down in the video description. And now I wish you a lot of fun by watching my video. Today it is such a day where you can smell how warm the day is. So you know it, it has a different smell when you had a cold day or a warm day. And today you can really smell like everything is heated up. Beautiful. Wow. Look at this clematis plant. This here is a climbing plant. It can grow alone. It needs another plant, a tree to climb up. And this here is a very massive one. Normally there are small like this, but the tree is also very massive. Beautiful. In a few minutes I arrive at the place where I want to stay the night, only over the river. Let's see how much water there is and then I am at the island. Here it is. I want to spend the night here at this place and build a shelter combination out of driftwood and sand. Let's see how it works. I was searching for a bigger backpack for the winter months and spring and fall where I need more space in the backpack because I had a bigger sleeping bag with me. Um, only the sleeping bag takes so much place in my 
bag, so I need a bigger one because it was always too small. And I had now this backpack. This is the Bushman from Steinkaut, so it is a German brand. And I really love this style, it is unique. Um, this axe holder here is great and everything is waxed cotton. So this is really um, a bushcraft style, so I love it. But I had no more space today, so I packed more stuff inside and this backpack was now really heavy at this way here to the island. So I'm uh, pretty happy that I am here and I don't have to wear it anymore. Yeah, I will try this backpack out for you and I will let you know what I think about um, a few months later. At first I had to search for building wood. When I build a shelter, I always check out the possibilities. So what is there naturally in this area? Do I have maybe a big rock where I can build a lean-to shelter at the rock? Or is there a fallen tree where I can make an A-frame shelter? Like here, I will use this wall of sand. I will create a shelter there. I need only a roof today because it is very, very warm and I only need something to protect from rain. So I want to search two big branches with um, branches like this. Then I can put other branches here in this part and we'll have a roof and the background is the sand wall and this is everything I need today. Before I start, I had to remove 
this sand here. Maybe I build later out of the sand on wind wall, maybe at this part or here. So, and then I fix two branches here and here and make a roof at this part and at this part one branch that fit them together and then one branch, the next branch, next one, next one, next one to fill the roof here. So this is the plan and now I had only to start. I've put today extra a um, mini shovel in my backpack for this work but then I found this one here and it is so much easier to dig with that because I had a bigger space to work. So the space here is big enough to sleep in. I had a big wall here and small wall here. Um, later I think I had to fix the background wall because otherwise the sand will fall, fall down um, the walled time down again, but at first I had to make the roof and everything else I can make later. These two branches building the ground construction from my roof. So I checked this, that these two parts are at one height and now I cut one branch that they had the same branch and I can build a really good roof with them. The ground construction is ready now. <laughs> I had a few moments where I thought I can't handle it. It is too heavy, too much, because I had to hold this one up, fix this one under this part and had to fix it here with sand. It was not so easy, complete alone, but I've made it. And now I had this branch here in the middle and at this branch there came a lot of, uh, a lot more branches. And at least I only had to close it with my top and then it is finished. Yeah.
not complete, but for the first. I've built with the driftwood from the closer area around but this is over now so I had to search for another kind of wood. I see that there up there is some um, are some fallen trees from the beaver and I will use some of these branches for my shelter. I only had to fix the top and then is the roof finished. So it looks not so perfect like I thought, like I wanted because um, the branches grow naturally, not in one direction. So one grows in this and one grows in the other direction. So it is not perfect, but it is good enough and I'm really, um, really K.O. now. I'm ready, I'm done. So I only fix the top and then it is ready. I have here some branches left. Maybe I make a kind of wall here later when the fire is burning. Let's see.
I fixed the string at all four ends of my top and now I only had to fix it at my roof, then it is ready. The roof is ready and now it is time for the campfire. Thank you. 
I had till now a beautiful soundscape and now the sun is away and my stomach is rumbling so I'm very hungry. Yes, Finja is hungry too. I had today a piece of lamb with me and I want to cut it in small pieces and roast it direct over the fire. That would be delicious. The, the, that would be the, that would delicious. That would be delicious. Yeah, right. Yeah. Is it fine? Yeah. Finja, Nase weg. Sonst ist die Nase weg. The lamb was really, really delicious, really tasty. And before I sit comfortable at the campfire, I will do the last work. I had some pieces from the branches um, left and I want to put it in the wall of sand at one side. So I had one side closed, it is not complete closed, it is only for the eyes and a little bit more safety feeling for me. ready like i told you it is only for the safety feeling and for the eyes nothing else but um, i had them left they are the most of them are fresh so i can't use them as firewood and so i can use it today i have this plan with me we call it elephant skin it is from the um, german army 
Yeah, I thought with this one I had a sand-free sleeping place, but you see that the sand is fall down there everywhere. So um, I, I want to fix it with branches, but there is not enough time, so I had to live with it. I try to put the sand away and then I will um, blow up my sleeping pad and lay down my sleeping bag. It is always a nice feeling to know I had everything done. My sleeping area is complete ready. I only had to lay down, close the zipper and then I can rest. It is so warm today. It is end of March and I'm sitting here with t-shirt. What a beautiful day. Our souls need this, need it so. This, uh, the sun, you can go outdoors, you can spend a lot of time there, you can work in the garden. Ah, it, it is really time for all those nice things again after the winter. I'm not freezing, only with my t-shirt, great. Everything around is silent. I only hear the waterfall. And over me there are only the stars. Really, really beautiful. Nice that you spent this time here with me. Also when you can only see it. It feels like you are there. Hmm, Finja, are you tired? Should we go to bed? Yeah, I will put some branches on top of the fire and then I go into my sleeping bag. Then I can watch the fire from the sleeping bag out and we'll sleep then. So I am ready for the bed now. I know that I'll be tomorrow a little bit angry because the sand is everywhere. It is at my camera equipment, in my sleeping bag, in my backpack. It is everywhere. Yeah, but this doesn't matter tonight. So I hope I will sleep well. It is very silent. Only at the other way from the river I hear some animal sounds. So maybe Finja will 
make an alarm tonight, we will see. Yeah, and we see in Heroes tomorrow. Good night. Good morning. I don't want to stand up because it is cold. <gasps> and I am very, very tired. But I want to stand up before the sun is out. Because at a river or a lake, um, there are often people who walk with their dog or, or jogging um, and I don't want to lay in my sleeping bag when someone's coming. So I'm not so protected here and invisible like in the forest. Yeah, so I had to stand up now. My sleeping bag is a little bit wet from the wet air. This is always a little problem when you sleep close to a river or on lake. But I hang it up and lift it out here that it can dry. And later I pack, I pack it away. So the night was not so warm like I thought. I let Finja sleep under my jacket. And this jacket... Um, yeah, I need this jacket in this night because my upper body was cold, but yeah, I can't also sleep, but it was not the best night. Hol mal mal frisch Wasser für das Frühstück.
So the fire is burning and I had here some driftwood left from yesterday. I don't need this for the fire in this morning. So I can build a little, bore, a little bit more at my building here. I have outdoors always this stuff with me, what is really impossible, what I really need. But I've got here this new um, pot set and I got here an isolation bag for this. And I really like it because with this you can put the hot, tub, uh, the hot pot here inside. It stay warm and you can handle the hot pot. So otherwise you cannot touch it because it is too hot for your finger, you would burn your finger. So I really like this. to say goodbye now it was a really great trip with this weather I could stay there for two days more it is just beautiful there so I had a lot of fun I hope you also enjoy watching this video if you like my equipment you will find it here in the video description if you want check it out I hope we see us again in the next video have a great time bye bye